everyone. I'm Brock with PDQ, and welcome back to our Getting Started series with PDQ Connect. We made it to the magical lucky number of 13. Today we are talking about custom fields. Now, I love everything custom, custom cars, custom homes. I can't afford those things, but what I can show you are custom fields in PDQ Connect. So let's dive into the product here, and we'll show you what you can do with custom fields. So in PDQ Connect, you'll find your custom fields down here in the More section. Click on More, and then we'll go ahead and click on Custom Fields here, and right away you'll notice a few things. One, that I've already got a few custom fields already created for my environment here. Uh, those are just kind of some examples we use for this video. Two, this is where you'll actually create those custom fields. Well, so we'll go ahead and get started. We'll click the Create Custom Field button here. Let's give this one a name. We are gonna create probably the most important custom field out there, candy at desk. All right, before we select our type, we're just gonna go through them real quick, show you what you have, uh, what your options are. So the first option is a date field. Uh, this is great for like warranties, purchase dates, things like that. Uh, so when you select these types, that's just gonna be the type that is uh, designated for that field. So we have the date, we have a number field that we could select. We have text fields, so you know this is great for just like random notes, things like that, anything that'll take a string of text. We also have your classic like Boolean true false field as well. So for this example, you can see I've already got up here, I've got a number, I've got a text, I've also got a date field. Uh, this one, we're actually gonna do a true false field and we'll click create on that. Okay, now we've got our custom field created here. Now to actually set those values, you're gonna to wanna to do that at the device level. So we're gonna go back to our devices here. Now, if I log into, let's see, we'll go to Aang here. And now you'll see that we have a custom fields tab right here. So we'll click custom fields. And here you can see the various uh, custom fields that we've already created. When you create a custom field, that is gonna create that custom field and populate it for every single device in your organization. There's not like, hey, I created this, but it's not showing up in this for this device. It, it's When you create one, it goes for all devices. It's up to you whether you whether or not you wanna populate that field. You don't have to do that. Here we have uh, the custom fields for my device Ng. You can see we've got an asset number. You can see we've got some notes here. The fan works really well on this computer, which keeps it cool. It also might be the avatar. Uh, warranty expiration date. We can see that the warranty actually just expired on this device, which is a shame. Uh, let's look at some of the other ones we got. We can also see that we've got the new field here. We'll get to that in a second. Let's go over to Katara. If you didn't notice, I'm a pretty big Avatar fan. Am I an adult that watches cartoons? Yes, I am. All right, so custom fields, asset number. We've got that new candy at desk field. Notes has a custom water cooler. Warranty expiration date, way out there, so she's good. Uh, devices, we'll go back and we'll let's look a look, take a look at Iro here. Custom fields, got our, again, asset number. We got our notes, somehow this computer caught on fire. Warranty expiration date. Uh, this one actually is just coming up as we're recording this video here in the near future. Let's look at this uh, one we created just a second ago, Candy at Desk, okay? So we can edit that, and again, the only option here, because we selected the type true or false, is true or false. So we're gonna go ahead and say, Iro, he's pretty nice, he's always helpful. He's going to keep Candy at his desk, okay? And let's go back, Katara, go to Custom Fields. We can do that same thing. Click over here to the right side of the field, click Edit. And sure, Katara has Candy at her desk. We'll save that one. Uh, let's look at Toph as well, Custom Fields. Candy at desk, maybe not. She might be stingy with her candy. False, we'll save that. So now that we've got that information, custom fields are great because now you can use it for like all of your groups and your filters and your reports and stuff like that. So we can easily create a group here. We'll call it has candy at desk, okay? And it's gonna be a dynamic group. We'll select our filter here for the custom fields. And here you'll see that those custom fields populate right here in the filter that we've created. So candy at desk, and it's automatically gonna choose the operator that is associated with that field type, okay? So you can see that we have is, is not, is empty, is not empty. So we're gonna say is true, we're gonna create it. And now if we go and find our group, has candy at desk, Katara and Iro. So I know when I'm getting hungry, 
I can browse around the office, I can hit up Guitar, I can hit up Iro, and I can go find Candy at their desk, okay? But a more realistic group, let's create another one here, and we'll actually create a group for monitoring your warranty status. So let's, warranty expires soon. We spelled that incorrectly. Again, we're gonna make this dynamic, and we are gonna choose our custom fields here. This time we're gonna choose that warranty expiration date. And then we're going to set it, the first filter is we want it to take place after today. So we can use this built-in variable for date, and that's always gonna be today's date. And then we're gonna add one more filter where and custom field warranty expiration date relative to day is less than 30 days from now, okay? So we'll hit done there, we'll hit create. Now you can see that we already kind of looked at Iro, but you can see he populates in this new group that we created that the warranty expires soon. So this is a great way to be able to track those warranties for your devices. Uh, you can track things like purchase dates, all sorts of cool information. And again, you can filter based off all of it, even the text fields, things like that. So there's a ton of really cool stuff that you can do with the custom fields. But I think that is gonna wrap up this video. Again, if you wanna catch more PDQ content, make sure to like and subscribe. Uh, if you got any questions or if you wanna talk about Avatar, I'm always in the comments down below, or you can have, head over to our Discord server. Thanks for watching. For PDQ, I'm Brock.